What's going on, everybody? Don't mind me and my Brett the Hitman heart t-shirt. Anyway, I've been so sporadic with these vlogs. I am just about four and a half weeks out from my first show at the OCB Presidential. And uh, let's do some catching up, because as usual, I don't look at the previous vlog. I don't remember how long it's been, but I'm sure it's been several weeks. Um, my food has been steady for quite some time now with 300 grams of carbs, 220 grams of protein, about 70 grams of fat with no real adjustments. And every time I think an adjustment needs to be made, my body magically decides to drop weight. I can't figure my body out at all. Usually it's like once my weight kind of stays steady for a bit, I always have to decrease food in order to get it to move again. Now, this prep has just completely thrown me for a loop. Um, Brandon has been incredible in terms of his patience, his eye with all of this. Uh, I've probably driven him slightly nuts, <laughs> especially over the past couple of weeks due to my own neuroticism. And again, this is why I hire a coach because I can't control myself when I'm doing myself. So I'm great when I'm, when I'm to my own clients, but when it's me, uh, I think it's just, I put such a, an insane expectation on myself, um, that I would, I just can't not be biased and I would just go screw with something that I probably don't need to go screw with. So anyway, it is July 11th. I am officially down to 180.5 pounds. Um, and just to give you some detail, like I was telling you, Brandon, uh, has been putting up with me for sure. Probably for the past week or so, I've been expecting food to drop. I almost like I want to torture myself and get food to drop. And he's been like, nope, everything looks good on pace. We're right where we need to be. You need to get the expectation of being, you know, 166 pounds out of your head. You don't need to get that small. We're not sacrificing that much muscle. And to be honest, like so much of me has wanted to just pull the trigger anyway and not follow the plan, but I hired him for a reason. That would be the wrong move to make. I'm not going to lie to my coach. If he wants me to stay at a certain place, then I'm going to stay at that certain place. And to be honest, it's paying off. It's just my own brain sometimes and my own ego getting in my own way. So I'm down to 180 and a half at four and a half weeks out. A little, just, yeah, not quite five, not quite four. So I'll just, we'll do four and a half. Um, and things are coming in, like my quads are getting more separated. My hamstrings are definitely poking through, but they're not there yet. Um, when I'm doing my side shots, you can see the feathering in my glutes. Um, but I definitely still need to be leaner in my legs. Like that's not even a dis not even debatable. Even Brandon agrees that my legs will have to get leaner between now and then. Um, so I'm waiting till this Wednesday. Going to check in again, see what Brandon wants to do here. Uh, I have been using Corsair during all of this just to add a little bit of a fat burning element it's a non-stimulant thermogenic um, i think it's been working in terms of helping my weight tick down without having to add extra cardio or cut food so it's been a good strategy it's been working um, but overall i think this is the biggest and the fullest i've ever looked my strength at this point of four and a half weeks out is doing pretty well usually by now like this is grind time for me where I could feel strength starts to leave, workouts start to become way harder. Uh, I do feel a little bit more fatigue and stuff like that, but not like previous preps. So overall, like my strength is good, my performance is good. Uh, I'm making sure to go to bed at a reasonable time, get some sleep, handle my any just handle life stress in general a little bit better. Um, been tracking everything on my Whoop, which is awesome. My recovery has been good. Um, and then just practicing my posing. So a lot of times now, uh, you know, during my workouts, if, you, if if I happen to be at a gym, excuse me, and I know everybody probably thinks I'm weird, like this guy's some narcissist or something, but I am going through my poses, uh, both outside in between sets, enjoying the pump, might as well use it. And then, you know, maybe for like a minute, a couple of minutes in the bathroom in front of a mirror. Uh, I'm not Usually, like, I'm not using the mirror to help me get myself lined right. I'm just using the mirror to see once I hit my pose, does it look correct? 
Am I doing any wonky things like raising shoulders or turning my body in weird ways, et cetera, like that, just to get ready for posing? Because I have a feeling the first show here, uh, they, they've mentioned they have over 40 pros. Now, granted, that's across three classes, so I don't know how many are going to happen to land in pro bodybuilding, but nonetheless, over 40 pros at that show. Um, based on my understanding at that show, I will be on at 10 a.m. first thing in the morning, which is cool. Just get it out of the way and be done. Um, but the, some of the cadences that I'm just going through my head, I know I'm kind of rambling because this is like, this is what I mean. Like, it, it's, I want to do well. I want to place top five. I'd prefer to win, but I want to place top five so I can qualify for Yorton. Um, this means a lot to me. You know, it's a very large goal. I'm not expecting this to be a cakewalk. Um, I'm not taking for granted that I'm larger than I was in 2018. I just want to make sure that I bring the best overall package I can to an extent. I know it would be hard for me to perfectly peak for three shows. So obviously for this show, I'm probably not going to be as peaked as I'm going to be for the other two, but that doesn't mean I want to slack off and make a bad showing either. And nor am I acting like this is some sort of warm up because it's not. Um, I'm going with the, the intention of doing like you know putting on a really good uh, you know presence on stage. So staying with my training, we did um, we did change the training plan as of this weekend. Uh, allegedly during peak week, he's going to give me some more instructions. I'm checking in on Wednesday the 13th so that I can figure out if and what we're doing in terms of macro changes, which I'm sure we are at this point, um, to really start dialing my legs in more than anything. And then we're just going to go from there uh, for the next four weeks into the show. And I really don't have much more than that to add. Um, it's just that I'm trying, like you have no idea behind the scenes how much internal struggle I've been dealing with and, and getting my head straight here so that I do what the coach is telling me to do because <laughs> my own ego gets in my own way a lot. So anyway, I don't know how much of a benefit this was, but just want to get that out there and uh, I'll talk to you later.